Hi, my name is Eric, and for this world map assignment, I chose to look at the country of Australia. And before I get into um, the actual parts of the assignment, I briefly wanted to go over uh, what the structure of government is in Australia. Um, and what I found is that they're called like a federal parliamentary constitutional monarchy. So that's kind of a real fancy way of saying that uh, they have, like America, they have a, a three-branch system, so legislative, executive, and judiciary. Uh, but within that, they have the like a parliament, uh, kind of like a congress, but a parliament and a monarch and a prime minister um, kind of in interwoven into those branches. And, and so, so, yeah, and another thing I found, too, is that they have compulsory voting. So it's different than here in America where we can, like some states, we can pre-register at 16 or 17 to vote when we're 18. Uh, and on our own free will, our own cognition, we can vote. Well, in Australia, as soon as a citizen because of age and can vote, that they are actually required by law to vote or else they're going to be penalized. Um, so just think about those things um, at a very a superficial level. It, it sheds some lights into how... Uh, policy and in our case uh, for this assignment family policy is uh, developed and implemented carried out uh, so looking at Australia Australia has about 25 million people uh, and under 18 the percentage is about 18 18 percent the proportion over 65 is about 16 and a half percent so the rest of that percentage, uh, what they would call the working class, is about 65.5%. Um, and the annual salary is about 54000 um, which I think for for Australia, that, that, that seems like a pretty good rounded number. Um, so that was cool. And then, so yeah, looking at their actual family policy um, for maternity leave, they offer 18 weeks. So that's about four and a half months, uh, roughly, and 2.1% of the public spending uh, from the GDP is spent on these family benefits. So so a lot of these things in Australia, um, these numbers are about average in all of the countries represented um, through the portal we use for this assignment, and, um, and that percentage uh, spent on family benefits, 2.1%. Uh, out of the GDP uh, is is about average, um, and so so yeah so yeah kind of going back over the workforce um, population uh, is kind of making me think of the pyramid assignment we did, um, and looking just at Australia, if if I were to make that pyramid for this country their working class is is the bulk of the population with a small percentage as elder than a small percentage under 15 and uh, that and 65 percent of that bulk of the working class is actually working and contributing and and i think that probably helps pay for these benefits i'm not quite sure how australia's taxes work or but um that is definitely paying into this somehow and then comparing Australia to the U.S. when it comes to family policy, well, <laughs> in the information provided through this portal, um, all the other countries all have benefits, and then the U.S. it's just zero, 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 zero on everything. Um, there's no benefits or anything offered. Uh, so Australia is definitely way ahead in this regard. Uh, so yeah, that's um, my quick and brief um, information on Australia. So thanks for watching.